Yeah, every Friday around this time, we play back the best of your uh, voicemail messages that you have left on the Pike Breakdown Lane. Commenting on stuff we're talking about uh, during the show or or anything else. It's your time. This is your time to voice your opinion. We allot that time. This is the public airwaves. So here we go. The message is uh, the best of the week for the Pike Breakdown Lane. Hey, Mike. Adam, it's uh, it's me, God again. Oh, Listen, nice. I'm sorry about all the snow today. I was really hoping to, you know, make it warm for the rest of the season, but uh, I'm a little ticked off. Uh-oh. I saw your poster for the hair fest thing you guys got going on, and uh, not one striper cover band, huh. really, <laughs> not one. Well, guess what? Every other Friday, it's going to be blizzard-like conditions until you add. Some striper cover band to that lineup. <laughs> also, please stop eating bugs, guys. It's not necessary. <laughs> yeah, Pike Hair Fest, uh, we announced it, uh, when was that, Wednesday? Did we announce mm-hmm. it? I don't know. It's all a blur at this point. But July 30th at Indian Ranch for the 2022 Pike Hair Fest, uh, we got a Poison tribute band, the world's greatest shot of poison. We got a Def Leppard tribute with Leopard, Van Halen, Everybody Wants Some. An Aussie tribute with Osmosis and uh, Crucified, the Motley Crue tribute. I don't know if there is a is there a Striper. People don't for people who don't know who Striper is. They were this um, Christian hair metal band from yes. the eighties who were actually quite good. If you could get past the the preachiness of the lyrics, but tall hair, a lot of makeup, black and yellow striped uh, yeah. jumpsuits. Yeah. Speaking of Striper, I wonder if God heard the story I did yesterday morning about the Arizona fisherman who was fishing and he caught a Striper. And he uh, went to put it back in the water, and it was belly up, and he resuscitated it with the CPR, uh, chest, compre- chest compressions, and mouth-to-mouth resuscitation. I'm sure he heard of it, because that was probably him. Huh. I think only God could bring a fish back to life through CPR. What if that was a real story? I mean, I read it on the internet, so it had to be true. Oh, absolutely true. Yeah. And uh, Listen, if you're looking for tickets to uh, the Pike Hair Fest, they go on sale tomorrow to the general public uh, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., you can go to IndianRanch.com, or you can take advantage of the pre-sale starting today at 10 a.m. Uh, go to IndianRanch.com, use the uh, code the Pike. Yes, very clever, right? <laughs> uh, to get your advance tickets for the Pike Hair Fest, Hair Fest on July 30th, we'll, we'll work on a, a, a Striper a, a tribute band. Hi, Mike. Hi, Adam. This is Steve from Leicester. I hope you guys are staying safe. You guys are a riot in the morning. I was wondering if I can hear a request. Misty Mountain Hop by Led Zeppelin. Crank it up. You know what, uh, Steve? I will crank that up next. We'll uh, play the rest of your messages. We'll play some some commercials. And when we come back, Misty Mountain Hop just for you, man. I appreciate Steve it. Steve Arena, work in the kitchen at Hanover Insurance. Oh, nice. Nice. Let's get some bacon and eggs over here immediately. Mark you, Adam Webster. Look, I'm going to be serious for a minute. We lost a musical icon this week. Mark Lanigan had a unique voice that was synonymous with a generation. His was up there with the greats. Kurt, Lane, Scott, and Chris. Do yourself a favor and listen to Screaming Trees. Mark Lanigan, we will miss you. Yeah, Mark Lanigan, uh, not just a great songwriter and a great performer. I was fortunate enough to see the Screaming Trees a few times, you know, back in the 90s, but... Really a distinct voice. You couldn't mistake him for anybody else. The guy sounds like he gargled with cut-up tin cans. <laughs> I mean, it was just... It, it, I, you could never smoke enough cigarettes to get a voice like Mark Lanigan. It was just unbelievable. And, yeah, it was a, it was a big loss. A, a great songwriter. A great writer, too. He wrote many books. He came up with, like, a dozen solo albums, as well as albums with the Screaming Trees and work with Queens of the Stone Age and a bunch of other projects. So uh, travel well, Mr. Lanigan. Yeah, I know we're talking about department stores, but I remember back in the day, living on my own park, my dad would give me a few bucks, send me down to Iandoli's that was on a Highland Street to get his cigarettes <laughs> that had me go up the street to the packy because I'd have a note and they'd give me a six pack or whatever he was drinking at the time, usually peels, Ooh. and then I'd go home. If that was in today's world, he'd be in jail and I'd be in foster care. <laughs> we lost who we are. I wish we had the old days back. Ian Dolies. Wow. Yeah, we, earlier in the week we were talking about Kmart is down to four stores left in the country, in the world. Yeah. Right? And uh, we're talking about all these department stores you don't see anymore, like Zayers and Bradley's and Caldors, the Caldors. And people brought up Grant's, which I'd never heard of, but that was around here. And 
every main street had their own department store right, in all of yeah. the cities and towns throughout yeah. New England. And I love the fact that this guy has this great memory and misses the days where you could send your kid mm -hmm. to go pick up your cigarettes and your yeah. beer. Yeah. With a note. With a ten year when a ten year old could buy a pack of pack of smokes, right? For what dad. Hap what happened to those days? What happened to us? <laughs> As that guy would say. Hey Mike, I just want to call and wish you a happy anniversary. Keep on rocking and keep on keep the food challenges coming. Really great content. I keep forgetting, yeah, this week is a year. It's been a year since I started here on the Pike. So Happy anniversary. Thanks, everybody, for uh, listening. Thank you, Adam, for, for putting up with me. And, and well, thanks to uh, Chuck Perks and our general manager, Bob Goodell, for giving me a job. Praise the maker. It's it's nice to be working. Haven't laughed this much in a long time. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry about all the uh, smells, especially to our our partners down the hall at <laughs> WXLO. Uh, <laughs> as far as the food challenges go, yeah. uh, so Adam actually... Adam and I had this great idea. Adam told me that March is National Sauce Month. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know what else happens in March? College, one of the greatest college events of all time. The brackets. Yeah, the brackets come out. So what we're going to do is do a hot sauce bracket. And Adam came up with a great name, the Spicy 16. You like that? As opposed to the Sweet 16. This will be the Spicy 16. So we're going to work on that for a couple weeks into March. Get that up there. Do a hot sauce bracket. Of course, I want to focus on local hot sauces. There's a lot of great chefs in the area who make their own hot sauces. If you have any suggestions on those, feel free to text them in. And I'll go find them, and we'll try them out. We'll put them up on the bracket. All right? You can text in at 508-799-PIKE, 508-799-7453. Of course, we'll throw in some standards in there. Franks, Tabasco, you know, all the all the... I guess the, the established ones. Sure. But I want to throw some local hot sauces in there, too. So if you have any good hot sauces you want to bring our attention to for this, 508-799-PIKE. Uh, uh, nine, Text them in. Hi, this is uh, Zdeno Chara. Um, <laughs> I heard you guys talking to that bull rider listing the injuries he's had over the years. And I didn't hear him mention having a broken jaw. <laughs> Try eating smart food popcorn with a broken jaw. <laughs> Tighten up, kiddo. Uh, Zidane Charo is the guy I always bring up when, like, a Major League Baseball pitcher has a hangnail. Mm -hmm. and he has to sit out the game. I'm like, well, Zidane Charo played in the Stanley Cup with a broken jaw. But after talking to Eli Vassbinder today, I mean, that's... Well, first of all, he yeah. had a 2,000-pound bull multiple times step on his ribs and crack his right. ribs. and break his ribs. And right. maybe jaw was included in the fact when he said he had a plate put in his face. He had a plate in his face. And screws in his knees and ankles. Those I mean, bull riders are tough, man. Tomorrow yeah. is the Worcester Rumble at the DCU Center. Not taking anything away from Big Z. Zidane Charles, no, by no, the way, last night he broke the record for the most games played by by an NHL defenseman ever. Wow. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Who did he take that record from? Who uh, was Chris Chelios oh, held yes, the record. Uh, Big Z now plays for uh, my New York Islanders. Right, right. Uh, but, but I hear he hates it so much playing for those losers. He wants to come back to Boston. He does indeed. And Isn't the Islanders are looking to trade him to a uh, contender. And right. the Bruins are certainly a contender. Right. The Islanders can't handle that much tough guy. No. That's what that is. Oh, he's such a homer. He's <laughs> such a homer. <laughs> all right, all right. Thanks. Hey, if you're not going to the Worcester Rumble tomorrow night. Right. And uh, you're looking for something to do. I've got a comedy fundraiser that I'm doing out at the American Legion in Sutton on Boston Road. It's going to benefit Multiple Sclerosis Society. We're going to open up the doors at 7. Comedy show begins at 8. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've got all the details up on the Pike Facebook page. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much for your messages on the uh, breakdown lane. You can call that number anytime, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We promise we won't call you back or sell your information because, quite honestly, we don't know how. You can call the Pike.